a big mabuhai around the world, and welcome back to the channel. It's great to see everybody again. It's the beginning of a new week, and where there's hope, there's life, there's joy, and we're back at it, baby. So I hope everyone is having a great start to their work week, and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and please like as well. And I was just thinking about things I could do to try to help people keep in contact in the Philippines. And there was one thing, one thing, right, that really helped me out when I was there last year in the middle of this crazy, crazy things that have been going on, right? This was kind of like my lifeline. It really was. And like I said in the past video about when you send money and stuff, the other thing is really connecting back home and with your financial institutions as well. You really need to have a U.S. number. You really got to have it. It's, it's essential now for security and for getting those access codes for your banking and, you know, sort of investment websites. I mean, it's like your phone proves who you are. I mean, that's not the way I grew up. That's the way it is now. It's like if you got a cell phone that gets a code, it's like, yeah, he's the guy. Okay. So um, that's the way security runs now. Uh, especially with two-factor authorization codes, you know, with whether it's your email, your bank, whether it's your investments, whatever, right? So you really need to get that access code uh, sent to you. And a lot of times they like to text it, right? And also you like to make that quick phone call back home or get a text message or something like that. And it's really essential to have sort of a affordable phone plan, you know, and I know there's different phone plans out there, I'm sure, with AT&T, uh, Verizon, T-Mobile, and all these things. And, uh, you know, I think I was looking at mine when I came back to the States. I signed up with T-Mobile. They got me right off the plane. I signed up because I know my wife wanted to get a new phone. Uh, it's not like I had the money for a new phone, but, you know, she loves taking pictures and things like that. So we just went down there. And after, like, sort of being in that whole, you know, sort of, you know, problems and everything for the whole year i was like let's splurge let's do something and they had a great deal at t-mobile by the way i'm not getting advertised for this i'm not getting paid or anything like that i'm just telling you like you know what i did okay either for google or anything or t-mobile that i'm talking about i'm not getting anything about that stuff so it's just my experience you know i love t-mobile they offer all kinds of discounts and stuff so if you do come to the u.s um if your fiance gets you to the U.S., say, I want T-Mobile. <laughs> you know, for me, it works great. They have like this thing, like bonus things on Tuesdays and things like that. And had a great deal, like sort of buy one, get one Samsung Galaxy, right? So we can talk a little bit about that right now. So we just walked in and I was ready to go into the store, right? And um, the guy goes, whoa. And I'm like, why is he stopping me for it? He's like, oh, we can only have so many people in the store. So I was like, okay, okay, I get it. So we stood outside and we went in there and we had our alcohol sprays and we're sitting down, we're spraying our hands, you know, all this stuff. And so he's talking to us and all this stuff and really super nice guy. And uh, our friend happened not to be there on that day. You know, two of our friends, we wanted to give them, you know, sort of the commission, not there. So we went in and, you know, I kind of heard, you know, uh, on the TV, what was really good about the deals. And, you know, T-Mobile, I've always used them in the U.S., and they've always been pretty good. And so we signed up for that. We signed up for, like, sort of like an Internet TV kind of thing, and which they canceled, you know, not on me, but they just canceled the service. <laughs> and uh, But they, they really did a good thing. They gave you $10 off, like, in another service, which was uh, YouTube TV, which is even better. So I was like, you know, T-Mobile, man, most companies just cut you. And like when they cut your service, they don't care. And they, they, you know, they try to keep you around. And they had free Major League Baseball and stuff and free Netflix when I signed up. I mean, so you're getting something back, you know. You're, you're paying, but, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a good deal. I mean, I like, I like T-Mobile. So, you know, we got the phones. And the one thing, right, I said to the guy, I always get phones that are unlocked. Well, you know, since I signed up for like the payment plan because I didn't want to pay like $2,000 for both phones. You know, I'm sort of like on the, the payment plan, right? And the phones are locked. And from what I was told, you know, Samsung's uh, Galaxies are usually, you can't unlock them even after you've done paid for them. So I told the guy, I only buy unlocked phones. And I said, oh, give me the, give me the Galaxy. Give me that one. 
<laughs> but anyway, they were super phones. And uh, I'll tell you a reason why I always get unlocked phones in, in, a, in a little while. But um, anyway, so the T-Mobile thing, you know, works good for me. They do have a thing. I think it says like 24 uh, cent calling, I think, international. It's something like that to the Philippines. And I think, but don't hold it to me. That I think you get free texting. You know, I think you can text people abroad and stuff, and they can text you back. I haven't tried that yet because, you know, nowadays everything is just so different than when I first went to the Philippines, uh, and that, like I said, was like 2007, 2008, something like that. And it was just the beginning of the dawn of the internet. <laughs> you know? I don't think we're too far beyond like, you know, the uh, modems and stuff, you know, without, you know, fast speed internet and uh, just chatting or getting somebody a face on the internet. Like Skype was like the big thing, you know, and uh, what was it? Um, Microsoft Messenger, AOL Messenger, you know, America Online. And so these were like the big things. And the uh, service in the Philippines was just dreadful. Uh, like, you know, the connection was just terrible. Like, you know, going back and forth. It was, the picture was bad. The messaging was bad. <laughs> and uh, it was hard to keep in contact, especially like when you had a call. And even today, I think it's cheaper to call a landline in the Philippines. That's a whole nother thing. You guys know in the Philippines, like, the telecom system is just ridiculous, okay? What they charge over there. And we'll talk about that a little bit when I, you know, with Google Fi, which is the phone plan that I used when I was over there. Um, if I were in any other country, it'd be like calling the U.S. be like pennies on the dollar. Or even calling now, pennies on the dollar. Like, you know, like five cents or something. And in the Philippines, like 25 cents. or so. It's outrageous. The same thing with the data plans. It, it's ridiculous in the Philippines. So, I mean, like, um, that's the one thing that's really keeping everyone back from calling people's phones. And everyone knows in the Philippines, everyone just, you know, they get their loads. The loads are super expensive. The data is really expensive. And the, the quality just really isn't there. Uh, it's, it's difficult, you know. And um, so it's hard. And it was hard back then, too. In 2007 and eight. it's like, and I had this thing where there was this company that had, like, a local telephone network. I don't know how they did it, but you subscribe to them and your fiance got like a phone. I don't know if it's still around. It was part of their network. And depending on wh where your fiance was, they could hear or not hear. And so when she went inside, you know, where she worked, it was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and she, God bless her heart. She would just pretend she could hear me or else I'd be going crazy. I'm paying for this. He can't hear me. Uh. And then she got in trouble because her boss, you know, saw her talking on the phone and got in trouble. I mean, and that's the first time I saw the infamous Filipina temper. She got so angry when they said, you can't call your fiance. She's like, why? I'm doing my work. Now you might make a mistake. And she just flipped, you know, and she got so angry at him. <laughs> and what I learned, hey, it's better than, better them than me. <laughs> anyway, so... Anyway, it worked. It worked okay, but the whole thing was I. I just wound up calling, and my phone bill for those for that year. I mean, it was like two hundred bucks a month, maybe three. It was just crazy, um, and the internet would get disconnected where she was, and come back on, go back off. Oh man, it was just a nightmare. Now, you know, I've been there. The internet, unless you're way out there in the province, it's pretty good. You can get the internet working. And so like I said, most people are just using, you know, Facebook, Messenger, things like that. And it works pretty good. You can't get, the, you know, if unless they have a data plan, you can't really call them though because a lot of people can't afford it. And the best plan I found in the Philippines is like only 15 gigabytes. You're going to burn through that. And you can buy more, but oh man, it's just a hassle. So, I mean, basically it's voice call and texting that's going to get you through all of this, right? Um... And, you know, you have to have this plan. Now, I don't know if Globe or Smart, I don't think they have, I guess they do, actually. I don't know, I'd have to, I mean, I'm not really sure where you can take it to the U.S. and roam or take it, you know, have a, a, a SIM card that works in the U.S. I'm not very familiar with that. I just know, like, you know, I used to see people changing out their SIM cards and doing things like that. Uh, I, I never even asked, you know, when I got there. But I know, here's another little tip. When you get there, you get your tourist SIM card, okay? 
And the tourist SIM card is great, whether they're uh, Globe or Smart. We went with Smart. They think they had a, a little bit better deal at the time. And for like, what was it, 20 bucks, you get 15 gigabytes and you get unlimited calling and texting and some other stuff, which is really the best. And it lasts, it's supposed to last a year. But get that at the uh, airport when you land, okay? Get it at the airport. You'll see these little kiosks set up. You go there and get it. Now, I think you can get one outside, but, you know, with everything that's going on, it's kind of a hassle. And, man, when I went to the mall, like, to do something with uh, Smart, I mean, the line it was just ridiculous, you know, because they have reduced staff. So if you land, just get it at the airport. You know, it, it's it's really worth it. And they ask to see your passport, and that's how you get the tourist, tourist SIM card. Make sure you get it, okay? But this does not really help you calling the U.S., okay? Um, and for most of us, I mean, you can just use the Internet. And uh, whether you're staying at a condo hotel or have rented a place. And, um, there, you know, you can get Globe or Smart. And that's what I'd recommend. But you better ask your, if you're staying in the Philippines, ask your neighbors and stuff, you know, what runs best in that area. It's a very local kind of thing. Um, we, I, you know, I forget this service right now that we got. Uh, but it wasn't really that great. I mean, it was okay. The internet was great, but we were supposed to get like free internet TV with it, and that didn't work too good. But the internet worked pretty good uh, during, you know, the, everything that was happening over there, you know, all the difficulties. It got, you know, sort of shut down once for a few days. But other than that, it was okay. And we, you know, of course, since we had the 15 gigabytes and things like that, and I also had the Google Fi plan, which I'll get to in a second, you know, we could do a hotspot and things like that to keep us going for a few days. But, um, <clears throat> you know, make sure you get a, a good, good plan. Um, and Global Smart seemed to be the best, but it depends. So check that out, you know, when you get there. But yeah, usually, you know, the internet's good for all the calling, like I said. But, but, and like I said, there was a guy on another channel that said they got rid of Google Voice and he flipped and he said, man, I can't get my codes anymore. And this is what we're talking about. So like when everything hit the fan last year, I was like, man, I'm so glad I have this plan. I mean, I thought about this before I left and I said, you know, I can sign up for this thing and it's only 20 bucks a month and I can cancel it. I can put it on hold. I can bring it back. And the thing is, you know, it's one of those digital SIM cards. So, like, I don't use up my SIM slot. And so I could have my Filipino SIM and then this electronic SIM at the same time, right? It worked like a charm most of the time. Like, you know, it worked really, really well. And the answer is, what is Google Fi? <laughs> so let me just get this up on the screen. Um... <clears throat> I'm mentioning this because I, I don't see a lot of people talking about this. And so the guy, another channel or whatever, he, he lost his free Google Voice and he couldn't get his uh, security codes. And he said, you can't get them with Skype. You can't get it with anything else. It has to be, a, you know, a U.S. number, blah, 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 blah. So this is the plan I signed up for. And here's the key. you got to activate it before you leave the U.S., okay? Now, you can get a SIM card with Google Fi. All right, and I guess you can activate it and send it to somebody. I'm not really sure, maybe, but I activated mine before. It worked great, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I got there. It switched back and forth, and we're going to talk a little bit about Google Fi. So Google Fi is sort of Google's phone plan, and it's kind of you know gone through a different progression over the last couple of years, and it kind of goes in and out of being like a good deal and a bad deal. And so now they're trying to compete with unlimited data and stuff like that. So it's moving to a better deal. But what I like about it is I don't have to sign up for a plan. Like I have to sign up with them, but I can cancel that. I can put it on hold for up to like five months, I think. And so it's like I, I thought I'd only be using this occasionally, which I was. And I'm like, hey, that's perfect. Okay. So let me just, you know, I, I signed up for it. I activated now. I had a I had a Google phone. I had a Google Pixel, so it just integrated really, really nicely. And here's the thing with the Google Fi: if you get the right phone, which we'll talk about in a second, it'll switch channels. Like it'll switch 
like different phone companies in your area, it uses the best one. So like in the Philippines, it could choose Globe or Smart depending on which is better. That's fabulous. That's really great, okay? So let's just take a quick look. And um, so here, here's the main page, right? And if you click on Explore Plans, they have three now. And you can, you know, sort of choose how many people. I have, I always went with the flexible because at the time the unlimited wasn't that great. But this is kind of the best and the worst. If you're not using a lot of data, like you got Wi-Fi at home, which, you know, we eventually got Wi-Fi, um, it's a thing to sign up for. And I think you can switch back and forth between the plans. So you get 15 gigabytes, and this is also, here it is if you see down, 10 gigabytes internationally, right? Now, don't go for the Simply Unlimited if you're in the Philippines, because as you notice, you don't get the data, right? But if you sign up for $50 each, you're going to get unlimited data and things will not slow down to 22 gigabytes. Now, I don't, you have to try it out. Sometimes, like when I went over, it would just stop, like the data would just crawl. So, you know, I don't know someone out there would have to check it out. Like if you go over 22, is it still functional? In my experience, it really wasn't. So you're kind of stuck at that 22. But, um, so you're kind of stuck at that, at, at that 22, but in the Philippines, like you can't really get unlimited data anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Right. So I would, I would sign up for it if I were going over to the Philippines. I think it's a great plan. And, um, you know, it really, really worked great for me. I mean, there were times it didn't, but we were over in Taguig and Acacia Estates and man, that's a bad phone area. And it still worked, but we were getting like one or two bars. And you'll find this in the Philippines, like if things come in, they go out. and But it worked for the most part. It worked pretty damn good. And you got your codes, your access codes, no problem. Now, a few times, a few times, uh, it got delayed. Like I think like one time, I couldn't get my access codes from Wells Fargo. But you know, usually your bank can also email it to you. But you want to have all those options. You know, some don't email these codes. And like they want, so like they want to hear you too if you call up. And one time I had a thing with my Barclay card where I was, you know, I was paying Moralco bill over there with my Barclay card. It wouldn't go through. And that's another thing I should talk about, like credit cards in the Philippines. It's like a nightmare. Like sometimes using an international, what they call an international card. Uh, on certain websites, it doesn't work. Moralco, it works, dude. It works. But you get a little bit of a problem. And I had to call up uh, Barclay and talk to them. But I had a U.S. Number, a number. And make sure you do this. Before you leave Google Fi or whatever company you're going to use, but I highly recommend Google Fi, gives you a new number. Put that number into your bio, you know, your contact. So that is the number that when you call up, they'll recognize it, that that's your, you know, sort of you. Because like I said, nowadays the phone is you. Okay, so when they get that number and hear your voice, it's going to be confirmation it's you. So you really need to sign up for something and also put that down on the contact list. Because if you try to change it once you're out of the country, it could be trouble. It really could be. They'll try to call your old number and you don't have it. And if you don't have international calling, you're not going to get the code or you're not going to get anything. And that's the problem, you know. So make sure when you do switch to numbers and everything like that, that you change your contact, especially with your financial institutions. This worked fine. So, I mean, like I said, you got the flexible for 17 each, and you get $10 a gigabyte. And um, that's expensive, okay? That's why if you have Wi Fi, you're not really using it when you're outside, it's okay. But that's the one I got, and I got burned a few times having to pay, you know, the $10 a gigabyte. Now, this is a new one, the Simply Unlimited. And basically, you get the 22 gigabytes, but you can't do international stuff, okay? Um, so, I, you know, this might be good in the U.S., but not in the Philippines. The Unlimited Plus, right? And we'll, we'll just put down, I think it's 70 for one person. And, um, you know, it's 20 for the flexible for one. So let me, let me just show you what I've been talking about. So, like, if you go over here... Uh, the flexible for one's 20 if you go to one person and it's 70 for one. But here's the deal. 
Like you get 22, you get unlimited uh, data, but also calling and all that. And also in 200 destinations. Um, the same with that too, but you know, you got to pay the $10 gigabyte thing. But uh, affordable calls too. Unfortunately, like I said, the Philippines is not, it's never part of these plans. It's never part of the good plans ever. Okay, but you know, it's still a pretty good deal. I mean, you can call, you know, back, you can call the U.S. and stuff and not pay that much money. Are you going to pay the 20 cents? It's the way, the Philippines is like a is like a black hole with that stuff. It's like, you're just going to get screwed on the prices. It's just, there's no way around it. But anyway, um, here, you know, like I said, I really check this out. Now, I don't want to go too long without showing my beautiful face, but... Um, I really mean it. Check this out. But like I said, make sure you they're going to give you a new phone. If you can get a digital SIM, it works good. And we're going to talk about the phones. Um, if you go over here and click on phones, like I said, you can buy a phone right now. And if you go down here, if you're looking to buy a phone, I really recommend, I mean, for a cheap, good Android, the Moto G, you get one, look at this, it's like 99 bucks, and they're going to like take $200 off. With activation, it's a great deal. Uh, I mean, it's not like a super duper phone, but it's a pretty good phone. They got some galaxies up here. Like I said, I wouldn't have really got the galaxy if it wasn't for my wife. You know, she has like the twenty one, you know, five G thing that we signed up for. But you know, buy one get one kind of thing. I got the the, the little less one, the, the the ultra, I think, or something like that. Anyway, so. If you get one that's made for Google, you get some you get some better you know better uh, connectivity. But by and large, though, um, and I think like I'm sorry about that. It wasn't showing the phone. So like down here, you know, here's here's the Moto G like I was talking about. It's, it's a great deal, okay. And then you get the uh, Samsungs and stuff like that. So like I said, check this out. Really, really check it out. And you can bring your own phone too. And so uh, Apple phones will work with it, but it's on beta. Everything on Google is on beta anyway. And some other Android phone, uh, old, uh, older or other Android phones will work, but it has to work on T-Mobile's 5G. And the bad thing is, like, it won't do, like, that um, network switching to, like, the better signal. So I don't know if that means a big deal to anyone, but, I mean, it might. I have no idea. But for like a hundred bucks, you're gonna get like a brand new phone from a Moto G, which is like you know two fifty, three hundred dollar phone. It's a, it's not a bad deal, okay? And it's unlocked, which means you could use it for something else. I mean, you know, it's a good deal. You know, to me, it's a good deal. Anyway, so this is something you know the the Google thing. I highly recommend it. I really, really do. Um, it really worked well for us. It was a lifesaver. Especially since, you know, when, it, when, when, like I said, all that stuff happened last year. Um, man, it really kept me in touch with home. I only had problems with a code that was slow once. I think that was probably the bank's fault. But that got cleared up. Now, the one thing I have to say is that sometimes the text went through and sometimes they didn't. And that was a little bit iffy. Um, and I don't know if that was because where I was located in Taguig or that was kind of the network. And you're going to find that out as you use it. But for me, this was invaluable, okay? Because I had access back to the U.S. If I called someone that had a U.S. number and my financial institutions could text me and they know what number I had to prove my identity. So it was a lifesaver during that like, you know, that, that, that sort of blackout zone that happened when everything hit the fan, like from around... What was that? Like March through June, it was like no man's land out there. And so this was so important to keep the money flowing, keeping connected with my family back home, uh, calling banks, things like that. So I really, really highly, highly recommend Google Fi. And like I said, I couldn't show it here, but you can pause it, you can cancel it, then you go back. It's just remember to activate it before you go, okay? I don't think you can activate it abroad. Um, and it works fabulous, okay? Now, just one thing. Just because you have a U.S. SIM card, right? Don't think you can do mobile banking. You can't. 
So let's say you wanted to transfer funds to yourself from one bank to another, you know, by taking a picture and doing it, you can't do it. They'll notice you're on a foreign network and they say you can't do it, which, okay, thanks. Uh, of course, you can transfer from bank to bank, you know, on the websites, but you can't do it from the phone or do anything. If someone sent you a check or something like that, you couldn't deposit it into your account. And we'll talk about that, like what banks and stuff. I think I talked about Capital One, but man, we ran into some problems like, you know, how to transfer funds and stuff, especially with the stimulus money and things like that. It got to be uh, quite a hassle. But anyway, like I said, check out Google Fi. Really, really uh, check it out. You can cancel it after one month. Like I said, in some of the phone, like they're giving, almost giving away the Moto G. And that's a good, solid phone. That's really going to be a good, solid phone. Uh, they work well, and they'll work well with, with this, you know, the, the Google Fi. Now, some people get a little afraid because there's Wi-Fi calling, and Google Fi will kind of latch on to, uh, you know, open networks and stuff like that. Legally, okay, legally, it's part of the system. It's part of, like, Google's thing of, like, interconnectivity to connect everything, Okay. But you get a VPN when that happens. It like puts you through a special security thing. And uh, I mean, if you wanted to, I mean, you could just shut down your Wi-Fi too if you're that scared of it. But for me, here was the good thing. I almost forgot. With the Wi-Fi calling, right, sometimes you're not charged the full 20 cents, okay? You get a reduced rate. So like when I didn't have Wi-Fi, man, they were, I was getting killed. But once I got my Wi-Fi going, right, the phone, the charges were down when I called the U.S. So that's going to be the difference with the Wi-Fi calling. You know, I was, I never had a trouble with the security with that. But I'm saying this, that's, that's the payoff is that you get a really good sort of rebate or kickback on the rate. So really try out Google Fi if you're an expat, if you're in the Philippines right now and stuck there. You know, maybe someone can activate it uh, and send it to you. I don't know how safe that would be if someone gets the phone and starts making phone calls, but I don't know. If you're in the U.S., sign up. If you have an older phone, bring your phone or get the Moto G. Just get the Moto G, you know? And uh, But I guess like if your phone has a pin, I mean, what are they going to do? But hey, you got to be careful when you send stuff in the Philippines. Now, like I said, I don't know if you activate the SIM and send it, what happens. Will that, if the SIM's activated, will it work if you send it? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I, like I said, I would try to get a card that had an electronic SIM, and then you could put your Globe or Smart in next to it. In any event, I know I've been talking up a storm, and you know I'm excited. You know, I love gadgets. I love tech, you know, that kind of thing. But here was something that I really, really, you know, sort of brought me back to the old days where there was something that was cool and really helped me out when I needed it. And I, this really, really was a lifesaver for me, you know, and it, hey, listen, it cost, but I, I didn't have to run out and get phone cards when I was stuck in the Philippines. I, you know, I could, I could connect with my bank, with my family, with everything. And it was, it was a little costly, but you're going to pay the same anyway. You know, you're not going to get much cheaper than that. So, Anyway, I'll just end it here. I hope everyone's having a great week. You know, our prayers and thoughts go out to Central Luzon again. We hope that Manila Plus and everyone around there, that the jobs come flowing back and that the rest of the Philippines is doing well. Our prayers go out to them. The U.S., we're doing a little bit better, right? We're, we're sort of moving into the summer. It looks maybe by July 4th that things are going to kind of be normal. I was watching some sporting events and Things kind of looked a little more normal. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. Keep the faith, everybody. Keep the faith, okay? Things will get better. They will, you know? And be careful, be safe, but most of all, be happy. Be happy, be well. God bless everyone. Take care, be well. Like and subscribe, <laughs> I almost forgot. And try out Google Fi. Like I said, I'm not being paid anything for this, okay? But like I said, you know, I think Google Fi really worked well. And if you're in the U.S., you're just coming to the U.S. or whatever, I love T-Mobile. I've never worked for them. Nothing like that. I just love, you know, I love their customer service. 
But Google Fi, man, it's a lifesaver. Take care, be well, and I promise I'm going to get some more videos up this week. Bye-bye. See you later. <music>